Mr. Fireman. Okay, we'll call the meeting to order and do the roll call of the magistrates and establish a quorum. Mr. Elder? Here. Mr. Wicker? Here. Mr. Smothers? Here. Mr. Caldwell? Here. Mr. Masterson? Here. All present. Very good. Hey, welcome to the group. We've got two or three delegations here. We'll several of them here in just a few minutes. Okay, uh, item number one, I'd uh, consider a motion to approve the minutes of the previous meeting. Motion to approve. Second. Mr. Smothers? Yes. Mr. Caldwell? Yes. Mr. Elder? Yes. Mr. Wicker? Yes. Mr. Masterson? Yes. Unanimous. Okay, item number two, we uh, completed or had completed the audit for fiscal year ending June 30, 2013. We have uh, Mr. Joe Montgomery here wants to give us a recap of that. Appears to be a clean audit. Uh, it was. Uh, I'll make it short and sweet. Uh, I'll go through our reports and some of the financial highlights. Uh, pages one, two, and three is our report on the audit of the financial statements. It is a unqualified opinion on the budgetary basis of uh, accounting, which is the basis of accounting the fiscal court uses. So that is, uh, that's considered a clean opinion. Page number five is the financial statements, uh, statement of receipts, disbursements, and changes in cash balances. For the year ending June 30, 2013, the overall cash revenue uh, total receipts was $14,989. Your total disbursements, your expenses were $13,590,739. You had other adjustments to cash of $224,601 increase. And overall, the county had an increase in cash and cash equivalents of $643,851. And your beginning cash and cash equivalents were $3,022,000, giving you an end in cash balance of $3,665,851. On pages 6 through 18, these are the notes of the financial studies. Giving detailed uh, information relative to debt, um, obligations, uh, purchases, equipment, etc. Uh, I will not read those uh, 12 pages to you this time. Uh, and that you do later for these are pages 19 through 25. Our budgetary comparisons for each of your funds, uh, the general fund uh, through the UMX fund, showing your actual uh, well, actual amounts and comparing those to the budget amounts uh, to give you a comparison of how you did compared to the budget you uh, approved. Page number 29. Here's our independent auditor report on interim control over financial reporting and compliance. Again, we have a unqualified opinion, meaning a clean opinion. There is one finding related to uh, the uh, bond fund at the jail uh, that was noted in here, and we had that on page 31 um, relative to maintaining the ledgers and reconciling the uh, bank statements to the ledgers on a monthly basis. Uh, it is not a uh, does not mean that there is a, a qualified or a uh, bad opinion, but it did rise to the level that you need to be brought to the attention of the magistrates um, in that that needs to be done on a monthly basis rather than a yearly basis. Page 32 and 33, uh, those are, uh, <coughs> that is our report to you, those in charge of, uh, of running uh, or governance of the uh, county. Uh, had we had any problems with performing the audit or had we needed to make uh, significant adjustments to your financial statements, uh, we would be reporting those to you here. Uh, I am pleased to say that none of that occurred uh, and we had a relatively uh, easy uh, process of doing the audit. It looks like here you're there to talk to the jailer. 
I'm sorry. You done already talked to the jailer? Yes, it looks like he's talked to the jailer, yes. Yeah. And that's being addressed. You know, Judge, one thing, I, and by the way, thank you very much. Uh, it's always good to see excellent reports. But, Mr. Cochran, if you don't mind, uh, if you would look into it, I noticed, for example, on this building as well as the detention center, uh, most of our outgoing loans are variable rate, okay? Uh, and I noticed a couple of the interest rates, even on, for example, like the fire truck, we went through Keiko on and so forth. But if you could look at that and maybe contact Kelly Mittler at Keiko or someone and see what kind of fixed rate we might be able to access, because I've noticed that variable rates in the finance world right now are starting to move up. So I don't want to get caught two years down the road if we can lock something in. So four percent. Um, it's four point three. Yeah. Some of some of your some of yours are variable rates. Yeah. Um, That's, some yeah, of them are fixed rates, but some of them are variable rates. Yeah. So, uh, uh, on this office building, I believe most of them are variable rates. Yeah, that's correct. This building, the Tech Center, when you yes. look through there, but the point is, if you can look at it and compare it, it, it very well might save us, you know, in some long, funds in, long in the run, future. If you're in at a lower right now, it very well could save yeah. money. Because I know Keiko was uh, much lower than 4% on some other stuff that I'm working with them on, so. You're right. A few years ago, Ross and Claire, I guess when we were financing the uh, Judicial Center building, took our portfolio of loans and kind of looked to see if there was a, at that, at that time the markets weren't moving at all. It, it, they didn't recommend we do any refinancing or change in where we were, but it's worth looking at again. Yeah, and, and two years ago, you're right, but right now, if you watch the market, the variable rate is starting to creep up, so and that can get a little scary, so just a thought. Thank good, you. Good deal. Thank you, Mr. Montgomery. Joe? Thanks, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Good fiscal standing. Yep. Item number three, we've uh, we've been involved in supporting and assisting in the senior companion program through uh, the community action agency. Uh, I guess for probably every year you've been there, Amanda. I don't know. Um, Amanda put a little letter together, kind of showing some of the, uh, I guess, enhancements or the additional. Uh, services that they were able to provide to Marion County residents because of our supplemental funding. So, I mean, would you address that? Uh, my name is Amanda Hodgins and I'm the director of the Senior Companion Program. Um, we're locally sponsored by Central Kentucky Community Action. Um, our main mission is to help the frail elderly and disabled population to remain living independently in their homes. Um, we provide in-home services such as light milk preparation, transportation, white house cleaning, laundry assistance, companionship, and respite care. Um, with your previous support, we were able to allow for nine volunteers to provide over 8,000 hours of in-home services to 22 residents in your community. Um, I would like to train and place three more volunteers in, in Marion County. The waiting list is extremely lengthy here. Um, I get calls weekly on people wanting our services because we are a free service to our clients. Um, with additional funds from your court, I would have the opportunity to be able to serve another 10 clients in your area, so that would put us around 30 to 32 more clients, or total, excuse me. Um, we would like to request the, the $4,500 that you all previous given, um, previously given, given to us before, um, and with your help, you all have made it possible for us to be able to keep serving here. So we, we do that. We do offer a valuable service to our people. And like I said, we're, we're very needed here. So with your all's continued support, to be able to keep providing that service. How many counties does it cover? I know you're showing six, right? But it covers cover six, yes, sir. Is it so? Okay. And each one of our fiscal courts contribute in some way. Um, Washington County, they contribute my office space there. So it's either an in-kind or a cash donation form. Each one of our counties do contribute. It's taken me quite some time to get everybody on board. Y'all are first to help us, but everybody's on board now. So. What's the other counties? What's the amount they contribute? Um, off the top of my head, let's see, Washington is about 4,700, Hardin County, they're, they're still at just 500, and they're, they're our third largest that we, we serve. Um, and so they have limited funding, so that's, that's why we get that. We do too. Right, <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are just way more generous and supportive of us. Um, so you said Nelson's 500, right? Um, that's Hardin. Hardin. Nelson County gives me 2,500. Okay. And they're, they're the 
fourth or fifth that we serve, so they're not at the top of the list. Um, what about Breckenridge? And Breckenridge, and they give us um, 2,500 as well. And that's a that's a really really small county for us. We only have like six clients there. And what's the other county? I'm sorry. Um, Grayson. Gray and what do they give? Um, he had given me 2,500 a couple years ago, and I'm. I'm going to go back to see him shortly to see if he will contribute that again as well. So, so he's not giving that currently right now then? He's, he didn't last year. He no, did? So. Okay. Let me ask you this. Uh, <clears throat> how many how many clients or how many of the elderly did you actually assist here in Marion County? 22. Since? 22. Okay. And we gave uh, $4,500 last year, yes. correct? 35. Was it 35? 35. We've already paid you for this fiscal year. Right. Okay, 3500 mm -hmm. All right. I will. Uh, with the top three, I know you're looking at Nelson and uh, uh, <coughs> Breckenridge, right, and Hardin. That's the top three? No, our top three. Uh, I'm sorry, Marion, Marion Washington, or... and then Hardin. Okay. Let me ask you this. You're talking about additional money. You're talking about this is a one time thing? Or is this something we want to do every every year? Where, where we... Well, if you could continue every year, I would certainly appreciate it. Um, since I've been here, I'll be here for five years. And you all have contributed to me every year. So, uh, from 3,500 to. You know, I think I think what I see in this is that uh, you're talking about the six counties. According to what I see, you're eight thousand dollars short. Correct. Well, as, as, I still have money coming in. Though. I mean, I have one more check. Okay, so that eight thousand is not counting this, correct? Right. Okay, so I mean, I, I'm just what I'm reading from your letter. It looks like you've got eight thousand dollars that you're short, or not counting your other check, obviously. But uh, if you take that and divide that by the six counties, um, I mean, I'm not so sure that you're, you're short that much, you know. Well, I've so I've already gotten money from other counties. I have to meet a ten percent match. My total cash match to operate my program is forty-six thousand dollars, because the federal government only funds me ninety percent of what my budget is. So the other 10% is my responsibility to, to recruit. So you're looking, now, are you talking about this 3,500? Of course, we already funded for this year. You're talking for the upcoming budget. Is yes. that correct? Okay. Um, and, and I will say this. Uh, that's the senior the senior companion program. I don't know if any of you guys have ever seen that's it or witnessed program. it. or Good program. Good program. I will, it is. It, uh, it's a tremendous program uh, as far as, uh, you know, there's a lot of seniors out here that don't have, you know, family or don't have people stopping by. And it's just the conversation or the ability to, uh, you know, have someone show that they care means the world. So, well, thank you so uh, much. outside looking in, I think if we're, if we're helping 22 people in this community for $3,500, that, that's some of the best money this court could spend. So that's reasonable. But my question is, we pay it for this year. We got to go into another budget year to. Yeah, this oh. this is for this upcoming budget. Yeah, right. after yeah. Sure. After July one. So most definitely look at that. We're planning a budget meeting here for the sure. next uh, next little bit. We can put sure, I wouldn't hit you all up twice in the same year. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. God, God bless you. Thank but you. Uh, so but no, right. definitely definitely keep the good work up and uh, anything we can do help Mary County because that, that's a tremendous program. Well, I appreciate it so much. Thank you all so very, very much. I couldn't do it without you, so I do thank, appreciate you all. Thank, thank you for coming. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know where we've wrapped it into our senior citizens programs. I mean, we uh, we do provide some support for, uh, I guess, keeping a uh, uh, some staffing at the uh, congregate meal site. Uh, still quite a bit of free balance in there for this, this present year. Um, had it in different categories, different years, but uh, and as as we tweak our final budget meeting coming up on a Saturday or two down the road, we'll we'll address that. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so no action taken. Uh, item number four. Uh, we have a group that has been working diligently, I guess, uh, for at least a year and a half. Really soon be two years from their initial request but uh, some delay upon getting started some plaster issues and roof issues and some leaks and repainting and preparation that took uh, probably didn't get anything really installed much before the fall of the first year after it was signed but uh, Miss Bonnie uh, Luckett has prepared a little kind of a summary that was in your packet mm -hmm. and I know that uh, it's a work in progress. 
have made amazing progress. Of course, didn't request anything but the first floor and have just now gotten access, really begun work on some of the rest of the installation of other exhibits throughout the rest of the building and just going to take a while. But, uh, Bonnie, do you want to speak to this specifically? Have you had a chance? I am Bonnie was installed as president on Tuesday. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say I have a very good board and fellow officers. We're working really hard. And as you know, our lease expires June the 30th. And we're here to ask you to renew that. I have prepared this telling you some of the things we've accomplished in the year and a half that we've been able to work there. We, um, our visitors have increased every year since we've been there. And um, we work with tourism, we work with the Arts Council and also Kentucky Classic Arts. They work, work with us and we work with them to sponsor events and activities that will, that will draw people into the History Museum. Our gift shop is composed of uh, items from local people, local craftspeople, and artists. Our revenue sources are donations, membership fees, and also sales from the gift shop. And we did not acquire our 501c3 status until February of this year. And up until that time, we couldn't ask for donations until we achieved that. So after we got our status, we approached the Tourism Council and asked them for help in we've, the renovations that we've started on the first floor. We asked them to help with the flooring that we want to install. We're putting laminate flooring down. And we have already painted all of the rooms. The, we also asked them to help us with windows and lighting, window shades and lighting, and display cases. They awarded us $10,726 to help defray some of those costs. And our museum is run strictly on volunteers. No one is compensated monetarily or otherwise for their work. And we work very hard to make sure all of this happens. We want to complete the renovation of the first floor and also expand the gift shop because we have local people that have items they would like to put there, but we don't have the room right now. As you all probably know, Turtle Man is our biggest attraction there. And he has been responsible for a lot of the sales in the gift shop. We have other plans to bring things in this summer, and these are in here. I won't go through those. And uh, I want to thank you for all of your help in the past. If it weren't for you, we could not be doing what we're doing, and we all appreciate it. But we do think we're an asset to the community. We have classes from Marion County Schools, uh, St. A and West Marion, and Lebanon Elementary, and the Lebanon Elementary and Lebanon Middle School students are putting up an art display that's going to run until school is out. So we are getting uh, input from the community. Now, I want to ask you to continue to support the museum. We can't continue if you don't help us because we have spent all of the money that we have brought in thus far on renovation, renovations. We're almost finished with them. But uh, we've paid for that as we went along with our revenue that was coming in. I would like to ask you to consider renewing the lease for another five years and hopefully by the end of that time we will be a self-sustaining institution but we can't complete the renovation and pay the things that you've been paying for without your help 
Do any of you have any questions that I could clarify something? Or? Yeah, I've got a couple of quick questions. Uh, first of all, uh, thank you, because you guys have done a tremendous job mm -hmm. at that facility. I mean, it's it's a remarkable changeover, and it's good to see the building being utilized, okay? <laughs> um, and it's great to see so many, uh, especially elementary kids, come through there. And well, we education. plan to expand on that when we finish the renovation of the first floor. We'll have more for them to see. I'm going to go back a little bit, okay? And, uh, and again, congratulations on your new position. Oh, thank and, you. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to go back a little bit. And uh, but I know when we originally entered into the contract, mm -hmm. uh, actually, they were talking about a year. Mm -hmm. uh, we provided two years, okay, trying to give, every, you know, trying to be as supportive as possible to try to get as much going as possible. And I remember at those times, and I. Uh, they were talking about, or individuals uh, that I don't see now, but individuals were talking about different things they were going to do to help raise money, to create revenue and so forth. And I know you guys have been busy over here because you just walk over, you can see what you've done. But I was just curious about uh, some of the things they mentioned in the past, such as corporate sponsors, uh, whether it be the local banks, local manufacturing business, whatever, uh, annual donors, advertisements possibly in the facility. Uh, they were talking about city support, since obviously the county's providing the building and uh, insurance and so forth, talking to the city about support, tourism support. So I, I, I remember all these things that were stated, and I guess I'm wondering kind of Why where... they haven't happened? Yeah, I'm just, I'm, yeah, I mean, and you might not be able to answer, and I, I don't mean to be unfair to anyone. Some of that. I just, yeah. Um. Tourism is cooperating. We couldn't really ask for any corporate help until we got our 501c3 right, status, right, which we've mentioned. only had a couple or three months. Right. And we, those goals are still in place. We are going to seek corporate sponsorship for things. Um, but it just all hasn't come together yet to um, make sure we get all that done. Well, it's a big undertaking. I, I see you've done a lot with it. We have. And I know the court appreciates that because the building for sure needs a tenant. Well, uh, and mm -hmm. I, we don't have a home to go to if you, if you don't <laughs> let us stay there. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> well, you know, I, I, I think what she's saying, if we kick her out, then, then, you, then the court's going to have to help move all that stuff. So, you know, I don't think we want to do that. That's definitely an incentive. Yeah. You guys have done a good job. Does anybody have, do. what are we putting in that right now? That per year? We put $10,000 a year in utilities, which this bad winter, we're right now we just exceeded that for 2014. Um, last year we only hit 7,500, but I kept that same amount, not, not anticipating we we're going to have a uh, gas increase and a severe winter, but uh, we uh, we'd probably pay uh, near that amount, even if it wasn't occupied. I mean, there's certain it won't, it won't things, as long as the sure. building is in our ownership, there's certain things, fixed costs, that are going to cost us regardless. So. Um, I guess uh, looking back at what we've done in the last two years on your all's uh, utilities, about all we paid for. We did have to put that new boiler in right at the end of their occupancy for the judicial for the court system there. Of course, we, that, yeah, we had to do that anyhow. So, but of course, we have the it's uh, Marion County Public Properties. It's our property, so obviously we're going to insure it and so forth. But uh, well, yeah, we've we got to maintain the building to a certain mm -hmm. that's correct. degree anyway. And they've done mm -hmm. a lot of internal repair yeah. and maintenance. Plaster repair and paint. The building looks better now than it did before anybody if moved out of it. been down, you should come down and see what we have done. You I've been down. Work. I need to get down again. I, I was there a while back, and I was amazed at what had taken place. I need to make another trip, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, it, going to be a budget item for doing anything, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. It's is some, is yeah. The, f the five years, is that uh, additional five years or three more to make it five altogether? Or you're talking about uh, five from this? An additional. Additional. Uh, additional. Okay. That's what I just want to clarify that because I wasn't real sure. Yeah. What, what we'll have to do is that uh, Master, Master is correct because, uh, of course, we've got the reading of the budget. We'll have, a, as Judge said, we'll have a budget workshop. So... 
technically to commit to anything at this point would be a little premature before we get into the budget and look at it but definitely uh, you guys have done a great job so okay. appreciate that very much you will let us know for june 30th right yes ma'am we will <laughs> don't worry i don't think anybody sheriff's not going to show up and kick you out i mean uh, <laughs> we'll right. don't lose any sleep over it okay yeah <laughs> You won't lose your job. You won't lose your job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe that's what she was wanting. Yeah, okay. Is this is this the majority of the people involved? These are all my supporters. Okay, one, two, three, four. Yes. If we all take four pieces, we can put them have a place to put them. Yeah. <laughs> well, I see my favorite teacher of all time back there, Miss Potter. So. <laughs> that was that was Mrs. Potter, not Mr. Potter. Okay. <laughs> So keep that in mind. I know y'all were talking about putting like the corporate sponsors. You're going to put up on the wall in there their names. Is that still? Yeah. When we get them, but we just we have been trying to get our 501 C3. We've been trying to get the place painted, and right now, uh, and the flooring is already bought. We're putting laminate flooring in four of the rooms on the first floor. Good deal. So. We've also opened, well, the list of exhibits are on the paper. I want to yeah. all that. Right part of downtown Lebanon, I think it'd be nice for the city to partner with us on this. Well, and we will ask them, Steve. In the, think in the industry, I think you'll do well, good. I see one back there right now probably help you a whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's he's donating his time at the end kind. <laughs> And thank you. Thank you. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank you. Thank Thank you. very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. all for the report. Uh, the draft budget that I have presented has uh, the same level of support that we've had in the past. And uh, I guess there's, there's a couple of things that, you know, going forward that, uh, we, like I said, it's just a draft budget until we firm it up and right. submit it and approve it, but uh, it's proposed, so we'll uh, finish this discussion when the budget's through, so. You've done your part, is that what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's putting it up, we don't kick yeah. it out. Um, I see how he just turned that all off. Well, I'll tell you what. Put it all off. Yeah. Yeah. He just turned and, that really well. He's not running it. again either. He, yeah. Boy, you think he'd be, yeah. be, be a little easier on us. Oh, trying to set the theme for continuation of good <laughs> progress here. So. so it took two years to move all that stuff in there. It's going to take a while to move it out. If you <laughs> <laughs> Years out of us, if nothing else, just in vacating. But, yeah. you know, that's not going to happen. So. That's right. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, thank y'all very much.